G'day guys. Today we actually have the 65th annual Grammys and me and Lethal, or Lethal and I, are going to go through some of the red carpet reveals because he hasn't actually seen a lot of them yet. And we're going to have a look and just see how horribly bad these costumes are. In all honesty, when I saw some of these on Twitter today, it reminded me of Hunger Games. It really did. These people live on a completely different planet in a completely different universe than the rest of the normal people on Earth. And it's, it's crazy. Got, we're at the stage where, like, cosplayers at, like, Comic-Cons and anime conventions it, dressing up how, as fictional characters look more real than these yeah, people. Yep. And, you know, like, cosplay is actually more normal than what we actually see on the red carpet. At the By the way, not this in cosplay. Love cosplay. <laughs> It's more normal than what though than what we actually see on the red carpet at a lot of these award shows. And a lot of these award shows, I don't know if uh, many of you got to see Sam Smith's like uh, acceptance speech for his horrible demonic song. Um, but uh, they're starting to really um, pat themselves on the back a lot, a lot more these days. It's like here, here's Sam Smith, have an award. Thank you, Sam Smith. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I so can that's guarantee what it's you really... that right now I'm not going to know who most of these people are. I'm just going to judge them on their fashion. Honestly, I don't know who a lot of them are either because nobody actually really, well, nobody. I don't listen to any of these people's songs anymore. Music has just become as bad as cinema, has just become as bad as the television shows that we watch. It's all now a platform for LGBTQ and acceptance. But, like, if you don't accept what we accept and, you know, have your pronouns and all of that sort of garbage, then get out. You're not a part of it. You're a Nazi. Get the fuck away from us. So anyway, we're going to go through some of the pictures from the red carpet. So let's go oh, through geez. this. I, I don't know who these people are. Who's I don't know who they are, but I like her tits in the middle. I'm sure you do. I'm okay. sure you do. There she is. There she I, is. I, I, okay. I, so far, I'd say that's normal-ish. What the okay, fuck what? is that? <laughs> oh, what we're, the starting, fuck? we're starting off real strong with Harry Styles. What, Like, honestly, what the fuck? This guy, when he was a part of One Direction, had all the girls running towards him like, oh, my God, he's so hot. He's so awesome. All of this kind of thing. What has he done to himself? Honestly, this is disgusting Ooh. in my eyes. And what again, Hunger Games. What do you think about that? I, I, I think the industry has done something to him and just fucking rotted his brain. And he looks like a, a rejected Adam West Batman villain to me. How unhappy does he look in that? He looks picture, very too. unhappy. Okay, that's normal. I can't Taylor say I can't Swift. say I'm a fan, but that's normal. She's looking very elegant in her in her outfit. She looks fine. I think that's okay, I guess. But she looks like she's on something. I don't know who that is. She it kind of looks, like, looks like Paris, but I I don't think that's Paris. She looks like Paris she's has high. Bigger boobs. Yeah, she looks Next. very high. What? There you go. <laughs> Pizza, Pizza the hut, ladies and gentlemen. Pizza the Hut. Like, what? again, Hunger Games. This is honestly all I thought about when I saw most of the pictures today. The capital of Hunger Games. This is Lizzo. I mean, she's a big girl, right? She's, she's not a skinny girl or anything like that. What she's wearing there, and they called it a cape. I don't think people really understand what the definition of a cape is. Isn't a cape just like what Lando wears or what Superman's got on? Yeah, this is that's like, a... Um, um... I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you got no words. You got no words. She'd be boiling in that thing. But again, this is like, oh my God, Lizzo, smile. Like you should have seen when the like the press are all there and they're all telling her to smile and stuff like this. It almost looked like it was hard for her to smile because she was that uncomfortable. But like yeah. it's it, it's normal for these retards to dress like this. But yeah, Pizza the Hut, next. You got Sam Smith and his demonic. Oh, that's, um, that's the Imperial Guards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The LGBTQ Imperial Guards. As you can see there, we've got two, I don't know, trans women on hey, the it end. Still, it still looks better than Last Jedi to me. The uh the lady in the on the uh right of Sam there, the, the side where his cane is, that's the one that sings in his new song. 
But like those other two on his other side just look like vampires. Yeah, that one's freaking me out a bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't really like the last Hellraiser movie, and this one doesn't look much better to me. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with the glasses. Are they trying to be like Michael Jackson back in the 80s? I That's kind of like that what it looks like. I don't know who that is either. Hey, he looks normal. The... Yeah, except for the gloves. He looks like a hitman. I like the gloves. Normal? That's normal. She yeah. looks off her fucking dial. Most of these people do when they're on the red carpet. Yes. Fucking smile. What's wrong with these people? At least we get a smile out of whoever that is. Okay, that one's not too That's bad. That's not I guess. too bad, I guess. Normal. The shoes. The suit in the shoes. I think. Yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, I, I, I'm just here to promote my latest movie. It's starting a whole new franchise. We've, we're going into a new era of a new reboot, and it's got to carry on for 10 more years. Hey, guys, it's been a day since our movie came out, and it failed. Yeah, normal. I, 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 wouldn't, I don't think you should bring your kids to these things, man. Yeah. And again, like, he's got his runners on. There's another... Uh, and like, that's... I, uh, on the line. She looks like a wave pool. <laughs> I mean, it's not the weirdest shit, but it's not normal. But it's so out there. Like, tell me. Okay, so Lethal, go back to that other picture just really quickly. So think about this for a second. She's got to sit in a room for, what, two, three hours? I don't know how long these things usually go for. In that. Yeah, fuck she's that. She's got to sit there in that. And what is that for? Just for the red carpet? Like, again, you look at the way Taylor Swift, what Taylor Swift was wearing back near the beginning there, and at least she would be comfortable yeah. sitting at a table or sitting in the audience or whatever the case for that amount of time. Again, for hours on end, they've got to sit there and actually be comfortable in that. Disco ball, but not exactly the weirdest thing. Yeah. Uh, 101 Dalmatians? Yeah. Uh. Cruella DeVille? Cruella? Are they doing a second movie? <laughs> pink what, Flamingo? What is that? What the is that? Flamingo. It's just like a pink that's, leotard. That's, that's the latest. That's um MCU Phase 5, the Pink Flamingo. <laughs> We're really oh, scraping the, yeah. the barrel here. Characters you've never heard oh, of. That's funny. That's fine. Yeah. That's normal. That's, um, I guess, normal. Uh, I don't think the pink is really your color, dude. Yeah, the pink doesn't work on him, eh? No. I guess that's kind of normal. I don't know who half of these people are. Again, like back in my day, back in like the 80s, 90s, like when they had the Grammys and all of that sort of thing, like the artists, you, I would know most of them. Now, because I don't really pay attention to these activists. I don't. Really who the fuck is that? Yeah, I don't know. Yes. I guess that's fine. That's um, Rings of Power Season 2. They're the Hobbits. <laughs> oh, try to smile. Fucking hell. Yeah. That's the other thing too. No no real smiles. She's got a smile, but her face looks half bent. What is that? What's with the shoes? What's with the shoes? Yeah. Oh, shit. Dude, my grandmother owns those shoes. I'm sorry. We're being very judgmental here, but honestly, this is the reality that these people live in in comparison to a normal fucking person in this real world. These Listen, people don't live in the real world. It's the red carpet. You're completely allowed to judge what they're wearing. It's kind of the whole point. I think I have a career in fashion judgment. And... That's fine. But she's trying to look like a dude, I guess. That one's Whatever. okay as well. Eh... Yeah. I don't really like the half. Is that a chick or a dude? I don't know, and I don't want to find out the hard way. I don't Whatever. know who that is. Well, wow. uh, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. Me either. Yeah, that one's a bit. That one's but a bit look, rough. For me. That that's just some of the red carpet that we've gone through here. A lot of those are the, Some of them are okay, but there are a lot of them that are really out there. And again, every time, whoa. Every time I see these things, I just think, whoa! <laughs> whoa, it gets worse. Wow. Nice rainbow flag there. 
Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, bitch, you got no ass. Don't be yeah. trying to show off ass. You got no ass, bitch. What the fuck are you doing? <sighs> See, she's got ass. She should yeah. be wearing that for what the other one was yeah. wearing. Swap the outfits. Yeah. Okay. This, look, this... I'll, I also, we've gone through enough of these pictures, I think, to, to check out the red carpet. A lot of these ones here at the tail end are actually quite normal, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, as you're saying. Well, to some degree, at least they're better than fucking Lizzo looking like Pizza the Hut. But I also wanted to just show you, what is that? How are you going to be comfortable? I keep wanting to move on to just something else, but these, I just keep seeing more retarded pictures. Oh, my God. All right, all right what have you got here? I want to show you guys this acceptance speech. This is Sam Smith winning his award or his Grammy for his demonic song. I fucking hate the song. I hate the film clip where it looks like guys are just jizzing on his face, but they're just squirting water at him. What? You haven't you seen it? I'll, I'll show you after we finish this video, but it's a crazy, stupid music video. It's a stupid song. It's, again, a virtue signal and all of that sort of thing. But I want you to listen to the acceptance speech. Now, Sam Smith won the award because it's his song. However, this chick that you're seeing on here now yeah. features on the song. So okay. he decided to get her up to give the acceptance speech. Listen to this. Um, okay. Sam graciously wanted me to accept this award because I'm the first uh, transgender woman to win this award. Okay. Listen to stand up. Sam Smith's in the background. Stand up. You better all stand up. If you don't stand up, it's like please clap. It's like that <laughs> it is please me. clap. It's absolutely fucking. And, oh, because I'm the first trans woman to to be on a song that's won this award. I mean, like, yeah, that's cool. Good for you. But I mean, this is a music industry award. We're, we're basing you purely on the music. That's it. I think all the music yeah. shit, but you know, that yeah. is the point of it. Thank you. Um, and I just want to thank um, all the incredible transgender legends before me who kicked these doors open for me so I could be here tonight. Um, so especially um, my friend who passed away two years ago, oh, who told Sophie. me this would happen and always knows. believed in me. Um, thank you so much for your inspiration, Sophie. Um, I adore you and uh, your inspiration will forever be in my music. Um, Madonna for fighting for LGBTQ rights. Um, so much. Madonna's I don't think not I trans. She's just Madonna. a witch. Um, my mother. Um, I grew up uh, next to a highway no, in nowhere. Look at that. Did you, you miss that because you looked down. <laughs> Your face is priceless. Megan too. Oh, we're in Germany, and my mother believed me that I was a girl, and um, I wouldn't be here without her um, and her support. <laughs> and everyone who believed in me um, to this point, um, I love you so much. The Recording Academy, thank you. This is a huge moment for me, Sam. Thank you. You're a true angel and hero in my life, and I love you. And everyone who made the song, too. I love you guys so much. Sorry, I didn't write down the names. I love you. Okay. So, again, I just want to point out that, like, this award went to Sam Smith mm -hmm. from the Grammys, from the Academy, whoever it is. I don't know who actually hands these awards out or who votes for the awards to go to these people, but this is a virtue signal. If Sam Smith wasn't gay and he didn't have a uh, trans woman in his song, he probably wouldn't have got the award. I, I mean, I, I can't say, I don't know that for certain. And of course, Sam Smith drops this song only weeks before the Grammys come out. So it's right in people's face just as the Grammys happen and all of this kind of thing. But I just see it as one big virtue signal. Again, it's the same as the entertainment that we're going through right now with television, with movies, all of that sort of thing. This is what's important. As long as we've got trans people, as long as we've got gays, as long as we've got lesbians, that's what matters. And if you don't accept it and you don't like it, well, then you're the bigoted one. And 
again, I'm all for, if you want to fuck, you fuck whoever you want to fuck. You be with whoever you want to be with and all of that sort of thing. But at the end of the day, stop shoving it in our faces. That's all I'm asking for. Did fuck the pronoun it, thing. I fucking hate all of that stuff. Did you find it interesting how right at the end she's like, I didn't write down the names of all the people that helped make the song? Yeah. She doesn't care. <laughs> oh, it's a sad and, state of affairs. And, and and like I said, that whole thing with Sam Smith, like after she says, I'm the first trans woman to basically win this award or be in a song that wins this award. It's like, stand up, like the please clap. Like it's exactly the same thing. Anyway. That's the video, guys. What did you think of the Grammy red carpet? What did you think about the awards if you watched it? What do you think about all of this? What do you think about it all moving forward? What do you think about the music industry? Let us know in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Later. Ta -ta.